So my name is Nathan Prey. I am a part of the Echo this year, and this is going to be for our archive project and for our each literary magazine. And for last year's, we decided to choose your uh, art piece, art piece, <laughs> uh, Modern Day Medusa. Okay. So um, I just wanted to talk to you about it for a little bit. So I wanted to know, like, what inspired you to create this drawing or piece of art? Um, <laughs> nothing really. Um, I was just messing around with. Uh, um, I was messing around with doing portraits and painting styles, um, and I had this idea of like doing like more of a cyber cyber cyber. I don't know what the word is, <laughs> uh, cy cy cyborg twist, and then I was thinking, but then I realized, like, what if their hair was made out of cables and stuff like that, so then I was like, oh, wait, but, like, this is kind of like Medusa with, like, her hair made out of snakes, so then I just ended up doing it. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. And so, um, were you a part of the Echo? Yeah, I was. Oh, okay, so how many years were you a part of it? Um, I think just one. Um, I had to leave my senior year because I switched to an art class instead because um, I wanted to pursue that. Uh, honestly, kind of regretted that, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, did you have like a specific role in the Echo, like editor or something like that? Um, I was in. I was working with the website. I was actually um, one of the people who like helped draw art for the website. Um, nice. so I, when you submitted your uh, uh, piece of work. Um, were there like any questions about it or was it just like right away? So like when people submit art, like sometimes they'll like give like a little bit more feedback to like edit and revise it. Was yours just like- uh, No, I didn't get that. Oh, okay. So they just like took it right away? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, so after you've, gra you've graduated now, and so I'm curious of like, have you pursued any more art pieces since you did take that art class your senior year? Um, okay. I actually decided not to pursue art as like my career because I prefer just keeping it as a hobby and I hate being told what to draw. So I don't take any art classes, um, which is why I regretted taking an art class my senior year. Um, but I basically, I still draw. Um, I just don't, I, I do it more of a hobby, you know? Yeah. So um, about your, uh, about your drawing, I want to go back to that a little bit. Was there anything else like that you had in mind like before? Like, were there any other drafts? Like, I know you said you just started like randomly drawing, but like, was there a previous thought you had before you completely finished it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so just went to your mind, and that was pretty much it. Yeah, that pretty much. That's a pretty good drawing. So, <laughs> so was there anything else that you had submitted in the Echo along with drawings? Uh, yeah, I submitted a lot of poetry, um, and I did get in the echo a few times. Oh, nice. Did you ever present a poetry jam? No, I did not. I have too much anxiety for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all do. Yeah. So, along with, like, your painting and your poetry, have you uh, gone into any other genres, like, such as fiction, nonfiction, or short yeah, stories? Yeah, I, I write fiction a lot. Oh, nice. Uh, like, any, like, specific, like, part of fiction? Uh, no, just mostly like short stories and stuff like that. Okay, cool. So with your experience being in the Echo and your amazing writing talent, how has that helped you like for like grow in life um, in the educational way? It definitely helped me um, progress my writing skills and uh, it helped me learn how to give feedback and how to receive feedback, um, which is very important because lots of people like I don't know, like when you have like a beta or something like that, it's important that you like accept their feedback without getting offended by it or something like that. Yeah. Um, so I've definitely learned how to take criticism um, from that. And that's, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's pretty good. I really liked how you chose to have a person of color be in the photo. Mm -hmm. instead of just like trying to like phrase <laughs> in a good way, like instead of just having like a more like stereotypical version of someone. Yeah. So was that like your original idea to have a person of color be the photo? Or yeah, or, that's, that's really nice. I like that. So uh, thank you for your time. That's pretty much all my questions, and right. answered really well. Thank you a lot for coming and taking your time out of your day.
Thanks for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. uh, enjoy your hobby of art, and I hope you do really good.